Hello and welcome to this video on moving off and stopping in an automatic car. I hope you're well and I hope you're excited about the lesson. The lesson is normally taught by a driving instructor once uh, you've learnt all the basic controls of the car. So without wasting time, let's get moving. The moving off and stopping basically is done in two sections. One, moving off and two, <laughs> the stopping. The moving off is divided into three subsections. POM, prepare, observe, move. So, preparation. What is the preparation? The first part of the preparation is to make sure the handbrake is on in the up position. The second part of the preparation is to make sure the gear lever is in P, is in the park position. Excuse me, getting quite warm. So the handbrake is on and the gear lever is in park. We are then ready to start the engine. Some cars you can start with a key, you put the key into the ignition and it starts. Other cars are keyless and you just press the button. When you start an automatic car, normally you would need to have your foot on the brake before starting. So, my foot's on the brake and I've started the vehicle. I am now ready to go. We then want to put it into D for drive. Once it's in drive, that's the preparation done. Simple as that. So I'm going to put it back into park and switch off the engine. Now I'm going to move on to the observations. The observations we is basically the observations is called a six point check that we carry out. And the six points are the first point is we look through the passenger side window at the back and we're looking for pedestrians on the pavement. We then look for the side mirror, the passenger side mirror, looking for cyclists, especially children that may be cycling along the pavement. We then look ahead, make sure the road is clear, there's no one traffic coming towards us. We look in the rear view mirror so we can see the road behind us. We then look in the driver's side mirror and we get a, a wider view. And finally, that people for, tend to forget is to look over their right shoulder, the blind spot safety check. The blind spot is a section that you cannot see in the mirrors. So you do need to look over your shoulder before you move off. So that's the preparation. Then let's go on to the move. So if you pretend the steering wheel is a face of a clock, we want to move the wheel about five minutes towards the right and the car will start going towards the right. Once you've got your normal driving position, which is about a meter away from the curb, a door length away, we then steer 10 minutes towards the left to straighten the car out. Once the car's straight, we steer five minutes back to straighten the steering wheel. So five minutes towards the right, 10 minutes towards the left, and five minutes back. So that is the move. So prepare, observation, move. Now, once you're moving, you need to know how to stop. And this is where a lot of people go wrong. Sometimes some people slam the brakes, and sometimes they go onto the pavement. So to make sure none of these happens, when you're stopping, the procedure is this. So you're driving along and you wanna stop somewhere. You wanna make sure it's safe to stop. But on your first lesson or your first couple of lessons, the instructor will advise you where to stop. Okay, basically you wanna stop where you stop, you wanna make sure it's safe, legal and convenient. Then you want to check your mirrors. We check our center mirror 
and the left mirror and then we decide whether we need to signal. If you're not sure, signal anyway. We then come off the accelerator. As you come off the accelerator, the car will slow down by itself. You don't need to press the brake on so hard. If you are going to touch the brake, again about thickness of a pound coin. Touch the brakes, thickness of a pound coin, and then thickness of a pound coin again, and then thickness of a pound coin again. So, once again, off the gas, the car will slow down. And then you start braking a bit at a time. When the car is almost stopped, we then ease off a bit of the brake so we don't stop with a horrible jerk. So, the other problem that people have is that, as I said, they hit the curb or they're too far away from it. Now, there's a little secret to that. We've got to establish a reference point. The reference point has to be established before you move off. The way you do that is if you look at the dashboard and the curb, you look where the curb meets the dashboard from your normal driving position. So this is my normal driving position. Without moving your head, just move your eyes and see which part of the car meets the curb. For me personally, I've put those two red, uh, green dots. That is where the curb meets the car in my instance. In your instance, it may be different, but your driving instructor will help you to establish the reference point. Okay, so now I'm just going to go for a little drive and then pull up again on the left. So, handbrake is on, gear lever is in park. I'm now ready to start the engine. I put my foot on the foot brake, start the engine, engine is on. Next, I want to select D for drive. My hand is on the handbrake. I then need to make my observations. So I've looked from the side window at the back, the side mirror on my left, road ahead, mirror, driver's mirror, blind spot safety check, and I've decided, in fact, there's a van coming. So I'm just going to let the van pass me. And there's another vehicle coming. And there's someone turning into the road. The road's got busy so all of a sudden. I've never known this road to get so busy. So now I'm going to signal and recheck my shoulder just in case, move my foot onto the gas. I've steered a little bit to the right, back and straighten the wheels. I'm now going to stop on the left, so I've checked my mirror, signal left, off the brake, sorry, off the gas, cover the brake and just touch it lightly, very, 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 very lightly. When the car stopped, no, I'm not going to move my pedals. First thing I'm going to do, apply the handbrake, select park, switch off the indicator, and now I can come off the foot brake. And now I'm going to switch off the engine. Well, that's how you move off and stop in an automatic car. I hope you found this video to be informative and entertaining. If so, please give the thumbs up and do consider subscribing to our channel so you do not miss out on our great videos. Thank you.